Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kathy Fox for LUTG Radio. That stands for Let Us Thank God. Amen. Radio. It is Friday, y'all. Amen. October 25th, 2013. And if you are in the shy of Chicago, Illinois, it is all 34 degrees. Ooh-wee. Lord, Lord, Lord. So cold, make your nipples hard. Mm-mm-mm. Cold outside. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Alright, y'all, we got uh, music for you today. We got the altar call in the last five minutes of each segment. And me and you. And the scripture. Amen, amen, amen. Every morning, every morning we got the scripture straight from the Bible. Uh, it's the Lord's Prayer. And I do apologize for making all this noise here. Uh, we got the Lord's Prayer, and it's in. A, I'm reading from the book of Matthew, chapter six, and it goes like this: uh, Verse nine, Our Father which art in heaven. Oops, hold on a Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. His love for you is 100% eternal. Amen. There is no greater love than Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No greater love. Praise the Lord. God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. just want to give him praise, don't you? Amen. Just do it. So good morning, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jehovah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remember, you don't have to be some professional singer to sing to God, to worship Him. You know what kind of professional He's looking for? He's looking for the professional love, the professional, the the person that will give Him their time. To God, that's a professional. You love Him so much, you'll give Him your time. He'll be like, hey, look, I'm showing up. My beloved, come to worship me. He can clock you. Oh, let it be so that he can clock you. You know exactly when you come in. Bam. Same time every day. Bam. He'll be there before you get there. He'll be like, yeah, yeah. They're coming to worship me. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Here we go. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. John three sixteen and 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark nine twenty three, Jesus answered and said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. 
His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him, and we pardon me, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. John fourteen twenty three. And then we have Galatians three thirteen and fourteen. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, A curse is every one that hangeth on a tree. That the gen that the the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Uh, John uh, 1 and 17 For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Genesis 12, 1 through 3 Now the Lord has said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred and from thy fathers house to a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing and I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed Psalms 37 and 19 they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied hey, Amen. Glory to God Praise the Lord. Remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We receive the blessing of Abraham, of the Abraham covenant, and the promise of Jesus to do more than he, because Jesus went home to the Father. Thank you for this beautiful day. We hear from God and I led. We hear from you, Lord God, and I led by uh, your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We should love you, Lord, with all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength. Today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. We are of sound mind and body. Amen. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. We are blessed from the palms of our hands to the soles of our feet. Amen. From Hallelujah. From our vital organs. Amen. To the most minor. We are blessed beyond measure. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. For giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain is moved, and every close or black door that is hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul, and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God. Decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Jesus, um, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every pers person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural forces abated. As Moses was so full with good health. So are we. We are healed in our minds and in our bodies and minds. Any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now. The hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. Hallelujah. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. 
We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily and harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved. Hallelujah. Believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptation. Submitting to your will. Receiving your blessing in the name of your risen son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have the assured dwellings and quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God's people are made to live according to God's world. The one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of, the, of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are and know their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the heads and not the tails, above and not beneath. Going forward and not backwards, the beloved and assigned to God will count all joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We as God's people stand on the word of God and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor in the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior. Amen. In John 14 and 12, Jesus says to his disciples, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. Amen, amen. Um, you know how you love advice uh, from a good friend? Especially, especially from somebody that has inside information. Women love to seek um, seek advice on uh, the how a man thinks from a man that will tell him the truth. And it's usually a friend or a brother, hopefully, or um, a father. Um, he, I, I'm not a man and, and, and uh, I'm not a father. But a man told me this one day. He just walked up to me and said, he said, uh, hey. Don't swallow. And <laughs> most people be thrown back, thrown back. He says, "Hey, if you perform an oral sex, don't don't swallow." Uh, he says, "Because um, that bacteria will go down in your body." And you know, he's really saying, "I would prefer that you didn't even do that, but if you're doing it, don't swallow and use a condom." So um, the same thing I say to you: don't swallow, whether you're male or female. Don't swallow. Um, matter of fact, if you're doing that, even if you're, whether you're married or not, I prefer that you don't have sex when you're married, but I know that's not the case. Um, so use a condom if you perform an oral sex on a man, and if you're performing oral sex on a woman, use a dental dam. Um, I'll put that link up, I believe I did put it up yesterday, and it's called a D, it's spelled D-E-N-T-A-L, and then dam is D-A-M. And it's those um, uh, mouth uh, things that the dentists have over their face to protect them or, or to protect you when they're working on you, they're doing surgery. So um, use that, use that, um, because in the on your genital parts, on your private parts, male and female, uh, even though you wash yourself as you go throughout the day. Um, the body um, actually has bits of bacteria on it. Um, uh, Dr. Oz uh, told us some of the uh, bacteria, but the, uh, it's bad bacteria. Uh, some of it's uh, called staph. Uh, when you're in a hospital, you hear about staph infections. I think it's called staphylococcus. Uh, anyway, the short name is staph infection. And it's staph bacteria. Uh, 
and uh, there's a few other things um, like that bacteria you can get um, from um, I think it's raw meat or something uh, and it's a bunch of different germs or whatnot uh, that are released from the anus uh, and that are uh, released from the um, uh, penis and as well as vagina. Remember the body carries good and bad bacteria and it's used to fight off different things and this is one of the reasons why when you go to the bathroom you must wash your hands and do it for at least 25 seconds so that you can get the bacteria off. 25 seconds of soap and water constantly moving about your hands is what it takes to remove the bacteria. So um, if you're performing oral sex on someone uh, make sure they wash and use a dental dam and a condom because what happens is when you do that that bacteria goes into your mouth and into your internal organs and system and it, it gets in your lungs. Your lungs is your your lungs pro allows you to breathe. It is your breathing capacity. And um, when the bacteria, when bacteria that is not a norm for the inside of your body enters, uh, your body create tries to create a, a defense mechanism. And um, and for the most part, it'll kill it. But not for those things. Always you you need. It'll kill some, but when you constantly do it, you build it up and build it up and build it up, and it can make you very sick. And so imagine you have that along with people coming across around you with uh, colds. You know, with as the season changes, people are going to get colds. They're going to get pneumonia. They're going to get the flu or whatever. And they're touching you. They're not washing their hands, and so you you're piling on all that stuff. You know what I mean? So washing your hands is a good way to get rid of all that. And I know a lot of men say, well, I'm just touching my own penis. You know, it's my skin. Yeah, it's your skin along with every time you fart, feces come out. So that's on your penis. Yeah. Every time you fart, pieces, feces come out of your butt. And you wear drawers. Getting all up in there, all up on the penis, all up on the vagina. And whether you wear underwear or not, it's in your clothes, it's in your pants. And if you wear a dress without underwear, it's on your dress. It's on your legs. So wash your hands. Take precautions. If you love that person, then you'll you'll protect them. So if you didn't know, now you know. Protect the one you love by simply washing your hands, washing your body, and using a dental dam, using a condom. Uh, dental dams are like a dollar thirty-five. Some of them are cheaper than that. You can, if you if you just don't have that extra to spend on it, take a condom, cut it down the middle, and uh, you spread it out, and you can put it over the vagina, uh, spermicide towards the vagina. So you could use that, but whatever you do, take precautions. Love them enough to protect them. All right. That's whether you're married or not. Amen? Amen. Uh, one last thing. Uh, doctors often tell me uh, that um, married people come in with some of the most um, infections because they figure they're married. And, well, they don't have to protect one another because they're married. You do. They, the, the doctors have actually told me that people, married people are the ones that will often come in with diseases that you would think they would get, you know, and it's stuff that happens by accident. It's not stuff that they're trying to do, like putting your mouth on an open cut. Your mouth carries the most germs and then any other part of your body with the exception of your butt. But it, it carries a lot of germs. And when you put your mouth on a cut, you're putting those germs right into that cut. So that's what they mean when they say married people come in with lots of infections that you think you would get when you were single. It's because they don't think that they should, that they need to protect one another, and you do. So, um, yeah, I'm always asking people questions. I'm always watching to see what's going on and reading. Some of it's from my own personal experience. You know, when I go when I go to the doctor for a checkup, I get myself checked out. But then I start asking questions. 
I'll ask the oddest questions. Because I just want to know. I don't know. So I just want to know. So that's what I do. And then I pass on the information to my friend. <laughs> or I tell him, hey, you ought to go hear what this doctor is saying. You ought to go to the doctor. Check this out. So. All right, y'all. We got the altar call coming up in less than five. I done talked the whole segment here. I just, It's just that that was really important. And I really want you to live and not die. Amen. If if you if it's time for you to go home, I pray that you go home uh, healthy. That God will come and get you. That God will restore your body, and you get to go home healthy. Not because your body gave out. Just that it's time for you to go home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise with all by Will E. Coleman. It's all right to give him praises. He loves the sound of your voice. Loves it when you tell him how great he is. He loves the way it sounds. Lord, lift those hands and say, one more time, all over this room tonight. You are my Lord, you're awesome. Come on. And we pray. Understand that you deserve the highest praise, Lord. So we praise you. Everything we have, all the hearts, all the mind, all the soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Lift those hands tonight and say, sing a love song to him. Oh, if you love him, sing it tonight. You're so awesome. There's nobody greater than you, Lord. You are Lord. And Lord, you are awesome. So we pray. Listen, when 
Thank you for supporting this ministry. And we hope that these songs have touched you in some way. We hope you as a believer have been encouraged to grow closer to the Lord. But if you're struggling with your walk with the Lord, or perhaps you're listening to Christian music for the first time and don't know the Lord, we want to give you an opportunity right now to pray, turn your faith to the one, answer the call, and stop running from God. If you're ready to do that, then pray with me. Father in heaven, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins. I turn from my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for me and that he rose from the grave and that he's alive. I want to invite him to come into my heart and take control. From this day forward evermore, and I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. A Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class, your prayer intercessory class. And uh, tell them that you got saved on LUTG Radio. Amen. Jesus loved you, beloved, and so do I. And, uh, um... Follow me to segment number two, which is my piece. We got more for you, more music, and the opportunity for salvation. And uh, me and you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus really does love you. Don't don't doubt it. All right? All right. So just in case you need to know, it's 6.32 in the a.m. So if you got to be at work, you better hustle. Remember, take your time driving so that we don't have a bunch of accidents out there. No matter where you are, if you're uh, in Illinois or in some other part of the country or, or the world, be chill because it takes longer to go through an accident report than it does just to slow down. All right? All right? 
you can still be cool, be cool, alive and healthy and well. That's that's true coolness. That's right. All right, y'all. Peace out. Be back in a few minutes. This is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio. Let us thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, wait.